in this video i'm going to show you how much grocery costs in vienna austria and also you can compare the prices to thailand because i remember when i tell the people that sometimes some prices are expensive in thailand they don't believe me so you can see and check by yourself however today i'm going to go to this supermarket this is called uh, inter spar or spar supermarket which is very popular in austria in Austria, uh, almost all the prices in the supermarket are the same, except the promotion are different. So, uh, for example, this one, which is located in the first street, is here. They have a different promotion as the other one that in the other district. But the first street in Austria is very expensive. It's similar to the Siam area in Bangkok. So that's why they have less promotion and less cheap products in here. But if you go to other stores, far from the city center, you can find lots of cheap. So let's get in and show you. One more thing I like about this supermarket is this. You can get the fresh orange juice from the machine for only 3. Point, I mean 3.4 cents euros for a big bottle, which is a half liter, yeah. You can see the price, two euros, so cheap. Strawberries, three euros for 250 gram. So for the two kilos of apple, you only pay 2.7. For the oranges, again for two kilo, uh, you pay 299 and for this one 199 and the lime is a bio one for one kilo you pay 1.8 I mean this one is the cheapest one you can pick as much as you want per kilo is three euros and the papaya is very expensive here it's five euros per kilo banana is cheap uh, it's only 1.8 so the beef as you can see here is almost uh, 4 euros for um, 600 gram and if you're lucky sometimes they have a 50% off they have also mixed with the pork and beef as well they have always such a place like this have more promotion some frozen food are really cheap here, exactly. Uh, something like the frozen pizza. Frozen pizza is normally so cheap, like uh, three and a half euros or three euros. You can get the one frozen pizza, which is almost 100 baht. Uh, bio yogurt, only for 50 cents, which is almost 18 baht. They have uh, this delicious rice. Uh, it's a rice and uh, milk in there, which is really good. It's also so cheap, like buy one, get one only for 15, 50 cents. Yogurt and diaries is really cheap. Um, you can see if you buy from the brands of the supermarket, it's only 69 cents for almost half kilo of yogurt. Of course, the bio one is a bit expensive, but not that much. This is almost 26 baht. I'm sure in Thailand it's way more expensive than this. Also milk, which I told you. We can get the one liter of the milk only for 75 cents, which is only 28 baht, fresh milk. The next we have eggs. So the bio eggs, I think eggs is a little bit maybe expensive than the Thailand. This is a premium one, the bio one, which pack of the 12 is for 3.5 cents. The cheapest one I found is this one. For the 12, you pay 2.2 euros. The most important part for me is the coffee and tea. So let me show you some prices here. So they have lots of teas. If you go for a bio one, you see the price for 2.6. And twinings that everybody knows. It's 2.9 euros. They have a variety of the coffee. Let me show you this one. The Lavazza, my favorite one. This one, 
7, which is almost 180 baht. I remember in Thailand was so expensive than this. If you go for a, uh, only like the coffee beans one that you have to grind it by yourself, is 16 or 17 euros, which is 600 baht for one kilo. Wow. These are, are also local from the, I think Vienna. If you go for a brand from the Spar, they have it for only seven euros per one kilo. They have also this brand, which you can get the, the grain wine half kilo for only three euros. Wow. And again, the coffee bean one for six euros. For two euros, 500 gram. Yeah. They have tons of different snacks, potato chips, 1.5, 1.9, but the real snacks, which I love it, the nuts. Let me show you some prices and you can compare it to Thailand also. So like the cashew nuts, you can get it for 186. This is almost 150 gram, uh, which I'm sure in Thailand, it was more expensive than this. The mixed nuts, you can get it for 1.99 pistachio yeah good this pistachio which is 200 gram you can get it for 263 this is interesting for who lives in thailand thailand is a country of the nuts and then these peanuts half kilo is only two euros which is almost 79 baht which much cheaper than thailand Look what I found here. Thai Royal Coconut. Coconut milk. Yeah. They sell it for 2.5. It's almost 100 euros, uh, 100, 120 baht around. And of course, chocolate. Europe is mostly the world of the chocolate. You can see the lots of chocolates here. The price is, of course, way cheaper than the Thailand. But they have a variety of the price. You have to check by yourself. I'm just gonna show you the Milka, which is the most popular one. You can see for 1.2, 1.2, all this model. They are 100 grams. And uh, I guess this set is promotion for 99 cents only. And these are from Austria. You can see the box, this pack of the chocolate for 4.5 euros. And this one is more expensive, yeah. It's Raffaello for 2.6. Europe is the country of the muesli. You can find a variety of the muesli here and also granola and cornflakes and a lot more. Let me show you the prices. So they have a brand actually, which is from Spar for three euros, 400 gram. Uh, they have more. The bio one, this one, the basic and bio, which is a green, you can, in the green, when it's coming with the green stickers, it means they are bio, so it's three euros for this one. Oh, this one is a protein, it's really good. I tried this before, I really recommend. It's for three euros, for half kilo almost. And some international brand like this, again, you can find it three euros. And the honey, normally honey is expensive. You want to get the good ones, eight euros for this one. And my favorite is chocolate. Yeah, you can get the chocolate again for four euros. This is a premium one, but they have a premium. It means a really high quality. But the budget one is the most cheapest one, which you can get it for 1.17. And the Nutella, which everybody knows, 4.4. And for the smallest one, two, almost three euros. Let me show you rice. They have different prices for the rice. If you get the local one, like this one, which is the uh, Langkorn, it's only 80 cents for one kilo. And uh, the Jasmine rice, it's 1.9 euros. If you're looking for premium brands or bio one, you can get it. I mean, you have to pay more, of course. But if you're okay with that, you can go with this. This also tastes good. 
like this one, a premium one again, for 1.3 euros, only 250 grams. Yeah, I think Tona is more expensive than Thailand. They have also for three euros, and the brand from Spar, which I told you, um, this Tona is 1.5 euros for 195 grams. So they have this one, which is 99. 180 gram but this is a uh, oh, tuna fish with the some something inside yeah stock piquant i think is sauce yeah it's 99 also the sardine fish is quite cheap here if you like sardine i love sardine and macular fish and they have also another product like here which is a uh, the herrings fillet, I really like it. Also for 99, if it's a promotion. I think normal price, normal price is 1.1, 1.2, like that. Water and soda water, um, it's only 20 cents, which is really cheap. And uh, yeah, these are, it's like 36 cents. And I think the normal water is also cheap. And water here comes from the mountain, so I guess it's count as a mineral. For this brand, it's a bit expensive, I think, which is 65 cents. And we have more here for, these are big bottles for only 65 cents. And over here we have the Pepsi, Coca-Cola. This is a popular drink from Austria most people try it and uh, this is the price of the coca-cola here 1.5 this is one liter this is all the tea drinks products which is really cheap you can get these are tea with the peach for only 95 cents even less than euro or this one with the what is this one Oh, with a passion fruit for only one euro. And juice. Like this one, the premium one, high quality 1.5. Apple juice for 1.2. And the bio one, only two euros. Overall, I think the juice and the drinks are really cheap in Austria and also if you buy something with the bottle the glass bottle they're gonna you have to pay more a bit and then later you can use these are machine put your bottle inside and give it the money back that's interesting they have this zone here that you can also get some food uh, the restaurant is closed already according to the situation but some places still open. I think I'm gonna try this food because I asked them and it looks good. It's a beef with the lamb mix. Hello, can I tr have this one mm -hmm. with the hummus? Hummus. Yeah. Hummus. Hummus. Yeah. This is uh, Israel. So they put the hummus no, and then hot. this beef on the top, some vegetables and the sauce. Tahina. Ah, oh, tahini sauce, yeah. And I guess that's olive oil. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this is so good. With the pita which is the bread and I think it's cost only five euros which is 150 baht 140 baht the bread is so cheap in Europe I remember for the loaf of bread like this in Thailand we have to pay almost close to two euros but here is 85 cents like 30 baht and you can see lots of delicious like for this whole wheat one is only 1.5 euros it's only for two euros and sometimes they have promotion but this is like with the uh, lots of seeds 
Yeah, you can see here, like this dark bread is only one euro. And the big one like this is only 1.2. If you want a sandwich style, they have many anyway, different prices. Yeah, from the Spar is only 70 cents. And the bio version is only 1.8. Really big. Okay guys, that's all my video for today. I hope you enjoy this information. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.